Hello everybody, I'm Minister Storm here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online Dawn Trail. In the last episode, we wrapped up in Ikbrash and headed on over to the Lower Forest and arrived at Mamuk. We're learning about um, the meteorite fragments down here and everything. And the forest is glowing blue. It was cool. And we arrived in Mamuk, and no one here will give us a time of day. Uh, but we did manage to find the Elector, and we arrived just as Zoralja was failing the feat of the Brotherhood. And not only did he fail to defeat the Shade of Gulul Jaja, which is what our challenge is, uh, he attempted to attack the Elector and take the Keystone by force out of frustration. And so he has been disqualified. So we'll see where that goes. But it's obvious that the Altark, the Elector, uh, here just wants uh, blessed siblings on the throne so that Mamuk can take supremacy into Leolol, so he's not really playing fair. And that is when his son showed up, Bakul Jaja, revealed that he only actually has two keystones, and that he was defeated by Wuk Lamont, and so was basically disowned by his father and told to leave. And so he went off, and then we were approached by his mother because we refused to do the trial because we're... we're we want to learn more about the people here before we do any sort of any sort of feat. Yeah, and his mother approached us and took us to where the secret of the blessed siblings lies. Which is, you know, where Baku Jaja was, and he gave us the story about how blessed siblings are kind of, well, they rarely survive, and so it's about one in 100 children who are conceived in this manner actually manage to survive infancy, and they basically created one giant mass grave for all of the dead children that they create to produce the blessed siblings, the two-headed Mamulja. And they just wanted to stop. And that's part of that desperation, which is kind of what has been fueling Bakul Jaja to this point. And driving him to do what he's done. And so he has a lot to make up for. So, we now need to kind of gather up the rest of the Mumulja here who are against this whole practice, who've been kind of hiding in secret and uh, see what we can do. So, that's kind of where we're at. Let's get to it. Alright, let's just start with Alphano. Alright, we having a moment to lose. According to Mililja, uh, Maksutral Zuj is an abandoned settlement northwest of the city. It should afford us the privacy we require. We must work quickly, lest Zerilja discover our intentions. Uh, fortunately, Bakuljaja thought to give us additional scales, so we might cover more ground in less time. All right, everyone should take one and get going. Uh, use them to gather as many people as you can. Ayami, let's retrace our steps. Maybe this time we can convince folks to lend us an air. Alright. Let's go make some rounds. And try and talk to the same people that we tried to talk to before. My 
müssen sie doch. In here are Hubigo merchants. Did I not tell you to move along? I can't be seen talking with the likes of you. Oh, we'll show him the scale. A blessed scale in an outsider's hands? What business do you have with me? So, Bakla Jaja sent you to call them an, an, an assembly? I'm not sure what to make of this, but I shall go to Moxitral's Duj at once. And here's our belligerent Puniwa. Oh, I'll show him the scale and see if he'll actually deign to talk to us. That scale. If the Blessed trust you, then so will I. So, what is it that you require of me? Bakul Jaja bids us come to Maxutral Zuj. A strange place for an assembly, but very well, I will not refuse he who fights for our dreams. All right, Uglamat. We managed to gather some of the good folks. Yep. Wonderful. The esteemed Bakul Jaja will be pleased. Uh, this fellow here will be coming to Masatral Zuj as well. Apparently, there's a Najul nursery to the west called... Uh, Golmajik Grove. Could you go and see who you can talk to there as well? I'll meet you in Moxithral Zuj afterwards. There's just one more person I need to find. Alright. We'll head to the Nod Jewel Nursery. With the glowy banana plants. Here they are. Grove worker. Leave this place, outsider. Oh, my apologies. I was unaware. I thank you, blessed scale bearer, for bringing me word of this gathering. I shall away to Mosutral Zuj at once. Out there. All right, let's go. It's it's close enough by. We'll just we'll just ride here. Our Hubigo Merchant, our Belligerent Bunewa, and our Grove Worker are all here. Let's go ahead and wait for the rest. Oh, 
Now, where's Luke Lamont? <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Ah. Connor and Entourage. Uh, you invited the second promise as well. Lama Chi, I need to remind you to remind you that this right is a competition. Whatever advantage you're about to share with me, you ought to utilize it to your own benefit. I barely made headway in communicating with the locals. At this rate, you lead the race to the Golden City. I need your help. To complete defeat? No, no. Mamook has a problem I can't solve on my own, and you're the most clever person I know. I want you to hear the people firsthand, so they might come up with a way to help them. Uh, very well. I am at your disposal. Everyone, thank you for gathering on such short notice. I am Wook Lamont, third promise of Tuli Olal. Promise? I thought you served Buckle Jaja. You deceived us? No, they did not. The scales they showed you were mine. I entrusted them to the third promise and her retinue. Oh, why honor these outsiders so? Because Wook Lamont has won my trust. Now you'll hear her words. Buckle Jaja shared with me the truth about blessed siblings, about the price you paid to conceive them. As an outsider to your community, it is not my place to judge you or your culture. A culture is born of the experiences of its people, of their lives and their land. But it breaks my heart to know that yours has brought you all so much suffering. If any here wish to break from the cycle of tragedy that creating blessed siblings demands, I ask that you join us. Please, I don't want any more of our children to die. You think we want this? We have no choice. Only blessed siblings can liberate us from our suffering, but without them, we have nothing. And that remains to be seen. Speak with a third promise, share with her your worries and your pain, and together we may find a new way forward. Together? If she is trustworthy, then I will speak with her. It would be best if you withdrew, my son. Many cannot yet speak freely in your presence. Let's keep an eye out for his real job. He wouldn't take kindly to this sort of gathering. Once we uncover everyone's concerns, we'll be better equipped to help them. Let's make sure they feel heard. Alright. 
Let's have a chat around. Let's start with our own group. Bona? Not even I imagine my, my sister one day befriend Bakul Jaja. Uh, friends is maybe a little strong at this point, but, you know, the relationship is improving. Alphano? Uh, Wuklamot risks her standing in the right to attend to her people's needs. Tis a degree of selflessness few can claim to share. Trial? Everyone looks uneasy, but their faith in Bakul Jaja guides them even now. And Erinville. Now we come to the heart of it. Alright, Hubigo Merchant. Believe in blessed siblings and the salvation they would bring us sustained me for years and years. Uh, but if there's another way, if the third promise can truly help us... Grove Worker. An end to the blessed siblings. Uh, Mililja? I'm sure my son would have preferred to stay, but his presence alone still greatly sways our people's behavior. An unsure citizen. Even if Bakul Jaja trusts the third promise, I don't know if I'm comfortable discussing this with her. Alright, Wuglamat. I'm glad Conan agreed to help us. He's always been good at solving complicated problems. Me, not so much. Uh, but I'll support Mamuk's people however I can. By combining our respective strengths, we'll help them discover a new source of hope. I know we will. Alright, All right, Ayami, before we start, let's make sure we're remembering our history correctly. The Mamulja and Shabral fought for centuries over the land in the upper forest, but due to infighting, Mamulja forces struggled to make significant gains. In order to promote cooperation, the Hubigo and Bunua clans intermarried, and that's how Blessed Siblings were first conceived. With that in mind, let's talk to the people and learn why they rely on Blessed Siblings. Alright, we'll start with you, unsure citizen. Now, Blessed Siblings promise us more than strength. They promise us the sun. This forest is dark and inhospitable. When given the opportunity to live in Tuli Alal, most of our people didn't think twice. Still, the prospect of being among so many outsiders was intimidating enough to keep many of us here. Blessed siblings are meant to deliver us from this accursed forest, to lead us to the fertile land above, where we might make a place for Mamulja to abide in peace and plenty. So you desire fertile land, one that's all your own. The Merchant. This land was once rich with ore, but the Yakhoi did not stop digging until all the veins were spent. The meteorites are only good for so much. Even if we made overtures to traders, we have little to offer. Nothing would make me happier than to make a good life for my family in the place where I was born, but that's impossible. So with resources as sparse as they are, you don't have a good prospect for trade. Alright, Grove Worker. As you'll have noticed, the forest is very dark. Hardly any sunlight makes it through the canopy, so it feels like it's always night. We plow, we fertilize, we irrigate, yet our crops shrivel and die as though cursed. The only one that grows well is Najul, uh, Jatika Banana and Tirali. Uh, try living on that and little else for a few centuries and see how you like it. Hmm. A forest where nothing grows. It's not hard to imagine why you'd want to leave. And the Bunewa. Those who have known only open skies and bountiful land cannot comprehend our plight. To thrive, we must take what we lack by force, and for that, we need the might of blessed siblings. There have to be other ways to thrive, ways that don't require fighting. So, they have no resources, and they're trying to find more. So, let's see what we got. Well, I think I'm starting to understand. Everyone has their own perspective, but all the concerns were about the forest itself. Dark, infertile, cursed. Hearing that, it's a little wonder that people here wish they had better land, and who better to get it for them than their blessed siblings? It's hard to convince people to stay in a place that can't provide what they need. You'd think the meteorites at least would have value, but apparently not. Hold on, didn't Aaronville mention something about the meteorites? That the ether they emit makes the plants glow blue? A rather significant physiological effect, I would say. If I were to study these meteorites, we might discover other ways they could influence local flora. I noticed a curious amalgam of tree and meteorite just south of here. 
Determining precisely how they interact with one another may yield crucial insights. Everyone, I really appreciate you for sharing your thoughts with us. Thanks to your insights, we have a promising idea already. We just need a moment to investigate further, so please bear with us. We'll be right back. Alright, let's go investigate. Where are we headed? Down to the south. Okay. Alright, oh wait. Uh, not down. Here. All right, Kryl. Ideas? At first glance, this forest is, seems a haven of mysterious beauty, but the reality of living here is quite another matter. Yeah, there's the tree in the meteorite corner. I don't think Yaktan was battered by a veritable deluge of meteorites long ago, but I never considered how their presence might be affecting the environment. Aaronville? Plants that shrivel as though cursed. I can hardly... I can hazard a guess as to why. Well, I can hardly hazard a guess. Alphano, what a remarkable tree. I hope it will provide us with the insights we need. Alright, we'll come on. It really is incredible how a tree could support such an enormous boulder. The meteorites' etheric emissions are palpable, even from this distance. Seeing this again makes me feel more confident in sharing a theory of mine. I suspect that only plants with an etheric affinity to these meteorites can survive in this forest. If so, the gargantuan trees that create the dense canopy would, by necessity, possess the same affinity, as well as the aforementioned Najul tree. Indeed. I should like to analyze samples of meteorite before drawing any definitive conclusions, however... I carry with me a few devices that will aid in this endeavor, endeavor but perhaps you and Kral could lend your expertise as well? Uh, I'd like to join you. The etheric signature of those meteorites may be crucial in determining what manner of species might fare well here. Ah, I think I see what you're getting at. If we can prove to them the cursed forest isn't quite so cursed, Maybe the people won't feel like blessed siblings are their only solution. So, how can I help? I want me to climb a tree and break off a piece of meteorite for you? Mm, there are plenty of fragments on the ground already. It should be easy. It should be enough for the purpose for our It should be enough for our purposes if we gather about five pieces each. Even better if those fragments are gathered from disparate locations. I will collect your pieces once you have them. All right, let's go uh, pick up some rocks. And there's one over there. I see another one. All right, we gathered all the ones here. So that should be our five pieces. Let's get in the corner. Did you find your fragments? Indeed I did. 
Uh, much obliged. Alpha no, Kryle and I will combine the gathered samples and conduct an analysis forthwith. Determining the wavelength may take a little while, but I'm hopeful that our efforts will bear fruit. I'll tell my sister to await our arrival at Moxutral Zuj and go and meet her there. We will return with our results as soon as possible. Alright, let's uh, head back. Uh, best way to get there is probably this way. Alright, I'll be back once I'm there. Alright, we are back. Uklamat. We've done all we can. The rest must... We must leave the corn on the others. I don't know the first thing about these Charlian devices of his, but if they can help... Uh, can, they can be of help to Bamuk. I'm glad he has them. There's hope for this forest yet, Ayami. I can feel it. I don't need any dye. We'll just take the... The money. I'm sure, sure Zerilja would have choice words for us if he knew what we were up to. But his people are my people, and I can't ignore their plight. When they call myself Dawn Servant one day, I have to bring an end to the tragedy here. Many are depending on me. Buckle Jaja, not least of all. Anyway, I'm sure Conan and the others will be back with their report soon. We wait. Good. Everyone is assembled. In light of our news, I thought it only right to call the others. Thanks for the efforts of all. I'm pleased to say our analysis has yielded many valuable insights. I dare say the prognosis is hopeful. Earlier, we asked you about the hopes you place in the Blessed Siblings, why they are important to you. Your overwhelming response was frustration towards this forest. From a lack of natural resources to the inability to cultivate crops, in all respects, you have ever struggled to build a prosperous home, thus your understandable desire for new land. However, this would be an unfortunate dismissal of what makes your forest uniquely valuable. That is, the soil. Our tests have proven, without a doubt, that the Jantika heartland is abundantly fertile. This may be surprising to hear, as you have seen crops fail time and time again, but we have discovered the root of this problem as well. The meteorites scattered throughout your forest emit an unusual energy that greatly influences the development of surrounding plant life. Some plants thrive on this energy, like the nodule and the giant trees that create the canopy, but others, as you well know, are sickened by it. Fortunately, the solution is simple. Across the salt, in a place called Charlian, there is a peerless collection of flora sampled from every corner of the world. Now that we know what energies are most prevalent in your forest, we can offer you seeds and starters guaranteed to thrive here. I took the liberty of contacting a few colleagues via Link Pro. Should you desire them, a sample of our best candidates can be shipped here in short order. Just as Eorzea acquired the Popoto and Tomato from Toral, so too might Mamuk benefit from foreign crops. You mean we'd be able to grow more than Nudjul here? Uh, precisely. While care must be taken to choose those species that will not have an adverse effect on the ecosystem, your agricultural options should increase markedly. 
With the right crops, Mamook will have all it needs to prosper, both at home and in trade. Blessed siblings don't have to be the answer anymore. Then there was never any need to fight, never any need to sacrifice. We can't change the past, but we can try to make the future better. Let the old teachings end with us. I know blessed siblings represent absolute strength to you. Letting go of that idea can't be easy. But I'll prove that when we work together, our combined strength can achieve anything. Show us, promise. If there's another way for our children and our home, we'll no longer suffer in silence. Sometimes we have to fight alone, but not this time. Would you say a few words, Ayami? Hmm. Let's see. I'll go with the second one. With faithful allies at your side, you can save even the entire star. Saving the scar is far beyond the scope of our needs, but I acknowledge the value of allies. We've said what we wanted to say. Now all that's left is to defeat my father's shade and the defeat of the Brotherhood and clear the way for Mamook's bright new future. Uh, do not give us cause to question our faith in you, please. Uh, live up to your words. I will. After we complete these beats, let's be sure to tell Zerilja the good news about the his forest. I'm sure he's as eager as anyone to eat what tasty foods he'll grow here. Compassion even for the likes of him. They continue to eclipse me in every way. And it is a simple choice. We're counting on you, Hooklamot. All right. We've had a little experience fighting Gulu Jaja. So. Right, Wuklumont's gone ahead to announce her readiness. I never imagined the samples we so feverishly collected for the Exodus would find new purpose here. But if they help these people improve their prospects, all the better. Anyway, we should go and meet our comrades where Zeralja made his own attempt. The final feat awaits. Alright. Let's go get it. Yeah, it's like in this mount today. Alright, let's climb up there. Fight this shade. And get on with it, because this will be our last keystone. And it is a solo instance. Very well. Yeah. Right. Someone has gone to fetch Zeril Ja. He should be here soon. This is upon proceedings. So several cutscenes will play in sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're fine. Ominous music.
Sirelja, I'm ready for the final feat. <laughs> Grown weary of postponing the inevitable, have you? Something like that. You see, I've learned all sorts of things about Mamuk and your people. Is that supposed to impress me? I now understand why I need to surpass blessed siblings. The cost of producing superior offspring is destroying your people's souls. Look at them, and you'll see this. So I'll defeat my father's shade and prove to you that there's a better path for Mamuk. What drivel! Without the blessed, we are nothing but weaklings! Dude, to fade into obscurity. Of course you are weak. We all are, each and every one of us. But when we join hands, we gain the strength to overcome any foe. Even Vali Yarmanda. Enough talk. Prove your metal against Gulul Jaja, the finest warrior ever to have graced Tural. Fine by me. Not even Papa's shade will stop me from upholding his legacy. I will fight alongside her. Ah, Connor. Claimants are not permitted to assist one another. Second promise. But you may observe your sister's pitiable attempt. I see. In that case... It seems I'm no longer a claimant. I am now free to participate, I trust. What are you scheming? He's made Nothing. his decision. I've simply come to realize who is worthy of following in Father's footsteps. Not our brother. Not Bakul Jaja. And not me. You have always held the happiness of our people closest to your heart, Lamachi. So I will do everything in my power to ensure you ascend to the throne. This is how I shall repay father for his kindness. This is how I shall serve Tuli Yolal. I could always count on you, Kona. Thank you. <laughs> It will make no difference. Numbers matter not in the face of true might. Gulul Jaja, mightiest of the blessed, arise! Everyone ready? Yep. And yeah, Aaronville's gonna... ...break out there. No hard feelings, Papa. I've got a lot of hopes riding on my shoulders. And the only way forward is through you! All right, let's see what we got. Bear witness to our resolve. Yes. Yes. 
in the reason which guides our journey. So long as we stand together, we're unstoppable. Oh, uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, those are gonna be lines. Yep. These blaze sundered Baligarbanda scales. Blades of fire rain. on that. Close. Go forth. Oh, very bastard. How is this? of paralyzing effect. Defend the afflicted! We must free them! Target the constricting flames! None can outrun my flames. For the machine! Not enough. Together, we shall try it. There we go, one down. Uh, oh, uh, did not notice the circles. Uh, which way? Okay, we're fine here. Side. Oh well. We'll get through this. I have your back. Oh, 
Gather up, gather up. I shall assist thee. I know not who you are. How your blood to thus. Surely this will quench your thirst for battle. By grace of wrath be sundered. That's a big sword. Everyone, get behind me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Will you have the strength to stand up to this? I will be the next dawn servant. I will protect my people. How much I can do there? <laughs> Is that the best you can do? But I'm not finished yet. We will see Lamachi become gun servants. Continue, Yola. All right, let's finish this off. Over here, over here. Oh, there we go. I just noticed a glowing sword. <sighs> That's my old man for you. Eh, not the cleanest run, but you know, got it done. To accept this. Well, too bad. Ain't that a bit stubborn? Even for you. Well, hello there. Arugadin. It couldn't be. Tanqua! It's been too long. Tanqua? It has indeed. You're looking more imposing since last I saw you, Wuklamat. Tonkwa? My Turali moniker. Galul Jaja insisted I take one, saying my birth name was too cumbersome for the local tongues. That birth name being Ketanram, I presume? Well, there he is. Ketanram's that legendary Eorzean sailor, the one with the pickled cabbage. We can talk about me cabbage later. Pickled cabbage. Zarelja, whether you like it or no, these young'uns accomplished the feat. To deny Wuklamat her reward would be to betray the Dawn Servant's trust. And what should she be rewarded for? Calling upon her minions to carry her to victory!
Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> kind of leaning towards it. You're the all talk of Bamu. Show some dignity, man. I don't have dignity. Not anymore. I wagered everything on this feat. And by the same token, I understand the enormity of your accomplishment. Together we can achieve anything. You needn't place your faith in the promise of blessed siblings. How would you have us reclaim our glory? <laughs> with friendship and community with us if you mean to rule you should be more sparing with your offers of clemency especially to a man who has sacrificed Countless young lives. Nevertheless, I will fulfill my charge as Elector. In recognition of your feet, I bestow upon you a keystone. Last one. Congratulations are nearly in order, I suppose. I'm confident that you will find the Golden City in no time. You've grown much and more during this journey. Become someone ready to lead our nation. Little Lamachi no longer. As your brother, I couldn't be more proud. Hona. Thank you. I must express my gratitude for your cooperation. And my regret for failing to live up to expectations. Nonsense. If you believe Walk Lamart is the woman for the job then you have our wholehearted support. One last thing. I wish to speak to you both from the heart. Unpracticed as I am. This may sound hackneyed, but... I am truly grateful to have met you. <laughs> Words spoken with such feeling would resonate with any fortunate enough to hear them. Though our journey together hath ended, ever shall we cherish the memories. Aye. And should you require further esoteric musings or biting witticisms, don't hesitate to call. I dare say we'll come flocking. <laughs> but I get a Oops. Misclick. I leave my sister in your capable hands. See that she returns home safely. Well, we have one last thing to do. You've still moms to go yet, Wuklama. The right ain't over till you find the city of gold. I know. But if I can come this far, I can go all the way. All right. There we 
we are. Let's chat with everybody. Alpha no. Enjoyed though I am by this outcome, I'm also eager to speak with Catherine while we have the chance. Trial. The second promise has warmed a great deal since we first met him. I dare say that wise and witty duo has been of no little influence. Alice. Even as a shade, the Dawn Servant's strength was incredible. I shudder to imagine how he might have fared without the Second Promise's support. Aaronville. I'm glad to see you all remain in one piece. Ketinram. Not like a bit of hardship to see your precious children grow into fine adults. And Zerilja. I will not stand in your way. But mark me, your victory does not afford you authority to dictate our future. We will decide what is best for Mamuk, Mamuk no one else. Fair enough. Welcome up. Let's go and tell the people of our victory. Third promise. You brought everyone? We were just coming to you. We did it, Mil Milalja. We proved to the Altar that not even my father's full power could overcome the strength of our fellowship. I knew you would. I was right to trust you. You fulfilled your promise. Now it's our turn. You've shown us another way that we can build the lives we've always wanted here in our homeland without sacrifice. Since our new crops will come from across the salt, I suppose we will have to treat with outsiders as equals, of course. Inside or outside, we're all just people, no matter what we look like or where we're born. When you're not used to all the color and variety, differences can feel like obstacles. But by learning more about what makes us different, we can also find common ground in places we never expected. Something new may become something you love. And someone you once hated might one day become your friend. You never know, unless you keep an open mind. And while it may feel scary, taking that first step towards understanding is always worth it. Of course, learning about outsiders may well help my move grow. But what happens when they learn about us? About what we've done? They will not. For generations, our covenant has been kept secret, and so it shall remain. The atrocities committed here were facilitated by the Altarks. We and no one else are responsible. For my deeds, I am prepared to forfeit my life, but I will not suffer others to be damned alongside me. No one's being damned, and your life isn't forfeit. The last thing the city needs is more death. Buckle Jaja hasn't fought this hard for this long, only to lose his father. If you truly feel responsible, be the first person to extend understanding to others on behalf of Mamu. Your community is waiting for you, here and in Tuliolo. You can still make things right, my love. Choose a different side of history. Hmm. Thank you, Third Promise. Thank you for everything. You still owe me an explanation about that cabbage, you know. Alright, people of Mamook have accepted you. Merchants and menders are now available for use. And there are side quests all over the place. 
But I believe this is where we're going to go ahead and end our episode. We'll pick up at this point. I guess where we're going to begin our search for the Golden City proper when we come back. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.